Many people living and working in the countryside may be forced to move away because they can't afford to buy their own homes. Now, landowners and builders are being urged to help provide cheaper housing to allow local people to stay in their communities. Our correspondent, Judith Moritz, is in Lazenby in Cumbria. Judith. Judith Shepherd works as an administrator in Lazenby near Penrith. She wanted to buy a house in the village too, but couldn't afford it until her boss joined forces with the local housing association and built some low-cost homes. I could never have afforded to have bought a house, especially in this village, with the way that the property prices had gone. So this was an absolutely ideal buy for me. Judith part owns and part rents her house. She works at the bakery company Bells of Lazenby. Michael Bell realised that, like Judith, few of his staff could afford houses in the area, and he sold some land for the homes to be built. So we came up with a scheme of shared ownership, where people could buy between uh, t 20 and 80 percent of the equity in a house and rent the other proportion, so they could actually get a mortgage and get a start and get some capital growth on a property. The scheme in Lazenby is just the sort of thing that the Rural Housing Initiative has championed and wants to see more of. This is not about uh, foisting uh, development on rural communities because obviously that's a sensitive, sensitive issue. It's actually saying now is the time to do something and the private se sector is there ready and willing to be part of that. With rural house prices rising, rural wages struggle to keep up. The Lazenby scheme is a relative drop in the ocean. It's being keenly watched in similar communities around the country.